What's up folks, Make Easy here. And when you get a Tesla, you get one of these adapters to charge your car at non-Tesla charging stations. But where do you store it? You could put it loose in your glove box for it to rattle around in. Or you could put it in one of the storage compartments, but that takes up space for other things. If only there was some sort of holder to store it in. Let me show you the Make Easy way. This is Make Easy. Make your own Tesla adapter holder and lock. We're gonna 3D print an adapter holder. Many public libraries now have 3D printers that you can use. I've included a link below where you can download the STL file you'll need to make this holder. You can choose the color of your adapter. I want it to be unassuming in my car, so I'll load a black spool. This holder we're making also doubles as an adapter lock, so that while you're charging, the charging cable can't be yanked out. We're about 10 minutes into the process. This render takes about three hours. Let's check back near the end. The holder will need to cool before it can be removed. When ready, the printer will shift it forward. Carefully detach it from the printer. Here's how it looks out of the printer. Now I'll remove all the support pieces. Here's the final product and it only cost me $4 to make. This is how the adapter fits into the holder. I'll attach this to my car after I show you how this doubles as an adapter lock. Here I'm at a non-Tesla charger. I'll attach the adapter and plug it in. So without a lock, the charging cable can be yanked out, which some people do maliciously. But with the lock attached to the adapter, it can't be yanked out. For me, I want to use this to neatly store my adapter. With some double sided tape, I'm going to tape a flat area on the adapter and attach it to an empty spot in my trunk, like here. Now the adapter is neatly stored away and can be easily accessed whenever I need it. Thanks for watching. If you're looking for more Tesla tips and tricks, we'd appreciate your support to our growing channel by liking, subscribing, and commenting to this video. And until our next one, stay well folks.